Okay, today we've been sent a case uh, to evaluate for a lower implant bridge. Um, uh, quite honestly, these are these lower anteriors to replace multiple teeth, especially teeth that have been missing for some period of time. Uh, typically, for me personally, present the greatest challenge. Uh, one is how many teeth do we remove? Do we remove more teeth? Um, what size is it? Is there enough bone? Typically a diameter, we're starting to look at three millimeter, three and a half millimeter, two piece implants. Uh, these all become uh, sticky points. And then in terms of uh, how deep that we place the implant uh, to allow us to get the right amount of bone that we need, um, these always become a little bit more um, difficult areas. So when I'm looking at this particular case, some of the things that I see, I'm looking here at my bone level on these teeth and then we can see it drops down there and then it looks like we have some significant bone loss right here and then we go back up to um, normal there. So when I see uneven bone levels like this and especially right here is my bigger area of concern. I question whether or not immediate placement is the most predictable choice for us. Um, uh, we, you know, certainly we want to try to place all at one time, but you know, if we place immediate, do we place at this level as as the initial plan has been submitted at? If we place the implant here and we do retain bone, I mean, what are we doing to this tooth next to it? You know, is is this healthy for this tooth to only have that little bit of mesial bone? And you know here we can probably maintain this, so you know that might be healthy enough. But then the question is, is since we don't have bone to begin with right here, are we going to be able to maintain enough bone here to, uh, you know, maintain this tooth number 23 as it looks like? The other uh, cosmetic issue I looked at was we have two, three, four five incisors and our intention is to replace these four but then sometimes we may have to take out this tooth to be able to maintain the bone that's necessary so I'm potentially not saying 100 percent but to potentially considered putting an implant here instead of here as a possibility on this particular case so, um, and then the next thought goes, if I can't quite uh, determine exactly what I want to do, then this may be a case where I need to take the teeth out, do some socket site preservation, grafting, and then wait the four to six months and see how the bone heals around this area and then figure out what's the best way to do it. And in that case, it may be better off sometimes to put two implants in the center and have cantilevers off the sides uh, especially if, um, especially if um, we don't know how this bone is going to be maintained on these two teeth, and since we we can have two implants and cantilever can be quite successful there, so those are those are the questions that we look at here, in terms of based on the plan that was submitted, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing our bone come up. You can see the spicula bone right through there, and to about right there. So I can see why we place this implant this deep, but again, the question is, is what is this gonna to do to the adjacent tooth? And then if we put it too high, are we gonna be able to maintain that bone after the extraction and not have thread showing on the side of it? So again, it becomes a little bit more difficult, a little bit more, uh, some risks involved here. So my first thought is maybe this is about the height that I'd like to put this implant in. Uh, the next thing that comes to mind is the emergence profile. If I put it here, you know, what kind of cantilever force am I going to have? So maybe based on the existing bridge, I might want to bring my incisal edge forces to something like this, which still gives me my screw retained option. Um, and then probably a little bit longer of an implant, like so. And so initially that's my thought. On, uh, as submitted on site number 23, 24 they're calling it. And then on site number 26, my first thought is immediately, let me see what it looks like in paralleling this to my other site, because then I can look at doing a screw retain bridge. To, so to parallel, we click change implant, orientation, make parallel 
to 24 and now I see that hey I can parallel this implant and bring it up to about right there and you know we can have slight adjustments here and let's go a little bit longer here and there so now I'm not terribly upset with this you know again my question is going to be how am I going to maintain that bone is that going to cause any detriment to this premolar you know there's quite a few questions that are occurring on this particular one right here but what I do know is that I can do this as a screw retained bridge now you saw that I changed the angle a little bit so I'll come over here to number 24 and I'll make it parallel to 26 and now suddenly we can have both implants parallel and we can place that implant um, so this would be my thought you know my other thought on this particular case would be what would it look like to put the implants in site number the edentulous sites right here you know maybe that's not too bad of an idea like so and then put one in site 25 making it parallel to 24 and drop it in like so and again you can see how much bone we, we, we're putting that deeper uh, so again this is a tough site there's a lot of bone loss here this may be a site where we want to look at having some significant grafting done to preserve the sites to make everything a little bit better um, my initial thought on this is probably to lean towards taking these teeth out taking out this tooth and this tooth as as it's been indicated that's the plan grafting the site and then coming back and seeing based on how everything looks what kind of bone we've maintained here and maybe how we're going to put these in maybe we're going to put one implant here and one implant here uh, maybe we're going to put two you know implants as I've drawn here in the edentulous areas uh, there's quite a few plans here uh, this isn't one that comes to me and I'm quite firm on what I want to do so when I'm not firm on what I want to do I want to see the site healed I want to potentially bring in a periodontist uh, their opinion on terms of do some buckle grafting we know that vertical augmentation is going to be quite difficult in these spots uh, but we may need to do some buckle augmentation to get a better result uh, on the long term here so thank you for submitting the case sorry I don't have more concrete answers on this particular one